Love Your School has been in Bell about four years. We started off with uh, Cooking Matters classes. That's where um, we have volunteers from Pulaski Tech come and um, partner with our child nutrition staff and teach parents uh, how to cook healthy meals. And the great thing about it is that parents get to take the food and the recipes that they use in the classes home to prepare a healthy dish for their family. Soon after that, we had a walking trail uh, put on our playground where the students get to go out and, and walk. We've also had uh, volunteers come out and do BMI uh, screenings for our children to keep up with their um, body mass index. We also have a garden uh, that was a new addition last year. And so the students get to plant fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables and then see them grow. And then they get to taste the fruits of their labor as the um, fruits and vegetables bloom and they're ripe for them to eat. And then this year we've had nutrition classes where UALR and the AmeriCorps members partner uh, to teach our kindergarten through fifth grade students about um, nutrition lessons and then they get to sample uh, fruits and vegetables. So that it's been an awesome experience with Love Your School. Our teacher, our nutrition teacher came in and told us about uh, how this is going to work. He said every Friday he was going to come in for nutrition classes for about an hour. And last week in nutrition class, he showed us a video about don't drown your food in oils and ranches because it's not really healthy. You should just eat it plain. Well, she comes and she brings a chart and she has the color group and what it does for you. And we get to read it and, you know, just see what is on it. Because it helps your body immune system, heart, vision, memory function. You won't get fatigue, like you don't sleep in class, you just like you're hyped up, ready to go. When you learn that, you know, parents don't really have time to cook or they don't know, you know, what's the best thing to cook for their kids and to see them come in and they're talking about kale and they're talking about cooking vegetables and they're talking about this is the first meal I've cooked with my family before and we sat on at the table and ate it and enjoyed it and the kids were excited about it. It's just, the impact is, is invaluable. I am so happy that um, they brought Love Art, your school to our school. I've always been passionate about childhood obesity prevention and so, um, and I also got interested in gardening and I wanted to learn more about that. And so I found um, Love Your School, the program, and it had a nutrition component as well as a garden component. And so I was like, oh man, this is in schools. I can do this, I'm excited. And so that's kind of how I came about. Well, Garden Club is like planting stuff, like different sort of, you can eat it and then you can plant more. And there's such a kind of things like cucumbers, carrots, even fruit. Today we're building um, a hoop house. It's going to be a greenhouse. So it's an extension of our school garden that we have. Uh, the school garden's currently in its second year. And this greenhouse is going to let us start uh, seedlings during the winter because right now we can't take the students out to the garden. But this hoop house will enable us to bring the students out uh, during the winter months. It's fun when I get to hang around with my friends in the garden because usually a lot of my friends don't like to go to the garden. But it's fun hanging out with these people who like to go in the garden with me and others. They love the garden. <laughs> in fact, when we we had an extension from the Garden Club because normally we were doing it during the day. And again, Miss Elena, who has been absolutely wonderful, she said, well, can I join your after school program and do the gardening in our after school program as well? And we had so many kids on the list that we had to have a waiting list for the gardening club. It's awesome to see the kids get together and they bond over talking about healthy food and what we're gonna plant. And they'll bring it in and they wanna share with everybody because they've tried to get me to eat all kind of things from the garden. <laughs> Which I'm a vegetable person, but I don't grow my own. So I'm the one that I want it washed and prepared and ready for me to eat. So they've even gotten me to jump in and wash a couple of carrots and eat. So <laughs> So it's been fun. It's been fun. It's been a good experience. 
I think it's really important, especially uh, in low-income schools, to have um, programs that are outside of the normal curriculum, where you have students actually going outside, um, getting out of the classroom, working with their hands, doing something uh, hands-on and active, because not all students learn necessarily the, the, their method of learning is not necessarily in a classroom, but actually doing something hands-on. Um, so I think that it's really important to have students um, have that opportunity. It's really awesome. Uh, it's really fun. It makes your day fun. You're not just sitting at a desk job, you know, staring at the window wishing you were home. I look forward to coming and seeing my kids. You know, they come up to you in the hallway and they're like, Miss Elena, when are we going to the garden or what are we doing today? And it just, it makes it worth serving for a school when your kids are excited about what you're doing. Well, our test scores have increased. Uh, our body mass indexes have um, decreased. And um, in the cafeteria, we see that students are bringing healthy things in their lunch boxes as opposed to just sodas and chips. Uh, we see students bringing carrots and things like that. So I think overall, we have greatly benefited from the nutrition and the partnership with Love Your School. We are winning. <laughs>